So we are looking forward to this weekend's San Francisco Pride fifth annual golf tournament. It's happening at TPC Harding Park. That is a world renowned golf course. It's all about diversity, inclusion and community spirit. Last year I emceed their awards ceremony. It was a fantastic time and joining us live to talk all about everything happening this weekend. LPGA pro Jamie Leno Zimmern. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Oh, good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Very uh, exciting event. I mean, this is a up. big year for you 2023 you are going to be honored with the excellence in golf award it celebrates your lifelong work as an lgbtq plus advocate and activist i mean how are you feeling when you found out the news and are you so excited for this weekend yes i am um, thrilled thrilled for the weekend and very thrilled to be the honoree this year it really is a, a great honor uh excellence in golf award and you know, to have your work recognized, but more importantly, I'm excited to have an opportunity to, to speak about issues of diversity and inclusion in golf and uh, excellence in general. So, um, yeah, it's it's just a great opportunity. So I'm, I'm very honored. I mean, I'm really good at hitting the ball. I can drive it and then my game just goes downhill after that. So I could use <laughs> any tips you could give me. But golf and just sports in general. I mean, how can they just like help break down barriers and promote LGBTQ plus acceptance and understanding? Well, if you think about it, sports is probably uh, the hardest place to come out. Uh, you, can, you, know, you can't think off the bat of out athletes. Uh, we only have one PGA pro, Tad Fujikawa, who was the honoree a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. who has been an out professional golfer. And um, in the LPGA, it's been, gosh, since I think the 1990s, since my friend Muffer Spence, Muffin Spencer Devlin came out on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Mel Reed came out a couple of years ago. She's a current tour player, but it, you know, being out in sports is not easy, not in golf. Yeah. And for example, football, forget about it, right? <laughs> the yeah. NBA, uh, because we have such a kind of mixing up of gender roles, gender stereotyping with sports as if you got to be a manly man to, to play sports. And, uh, you know, I've been athletic since I was a little girl, but I was called a tomboy as if girls couldn't be athletic. So, you know, it, it's important that we bring these issues out and really start thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, this is all about visibility mattering, seeing more people representative in sports and just in life in general. But can I ask you just personally, what do you find is the hardest part about being uh, an out queer person in the sports world? Well, I think that honestly, opportunities are, uh, are impacted and mm -hmm. even your safety. Michael Sam was a gay man who made it to the NFL, and honestly, he only lasted a couple years. Now, he's since become quite an advocate for, uh, for LGBTQ people in the sports world and in the professional sports world. But he didn't last that long because of bullying. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so you know, it can actually be dangerous, as we know, to be an out queer person. And in the sports world, where we do have so much kind of um, honestly toxic masculinity, um, there's abuse, there's been um, harassment, uh, you know, you just get impugned and it's not like you're going to get extra sponsorship, you know, for being a queer athlete. We haven't come that far yet. Although this event this weekend with the PGA of America, which is equivalent in the golf world to the NFL or the NHL or Major League Baseball, or the NBA, to have the PGA partner with San Francisco Pride and to support the community at a major U.S. Open venue like Harding Park mm -hmm. is is a very significant step forward. It really is. It's huge. And I just want to congratulate you on your award this year, your visibility. It matters so much to us in our community. So thank you so much. And thank you for joining us this morning and good luck this weekend. Well, thank you very much. If I could add one quick last sure. word, I would like to see me too means something different than it means. Right now, mm -hmm. it's all about abuse and we have to bring those issues out. But I'd like to see Me Too mean, you know, Me Too, I can play. It doesn't matter what my what my gender identity is or my sexuality. Me Too, that we have a project in the uh, community. It's called the You Can Play Project. So everybody ought to be able to play. Everybody ought to be supported. Uh, we ought to be aware of locker room talk. <laughs> we need to, uh, Title IX has given money finally to girls and you know women in sports, but we need to see a lot more equality of opportunity, equality of pay. We don't have just a gender pay gap in sports, it's an actual chasm. 
the difference in uh, the earnings of professional women athletes compared to professional men. So all these things need to change. And I, I would like to see, uh, I, I think that we're making inroads this weekend and I just want to see that continue. Well said, Jamie. Thank you for joining us this morning. And for more details on this weekend's golf tournament, head to sfpride.org. We will be right back.